Okay, everybody. I was not planning on making a video at all today, but I saw something of great concern. There was an ad that played on a video that I was watching. And what they're talking about is basically offering over a, a grand, uh, like over a thousand something dollars for people dealing with like household situations and being the first to get vaccinated or something. Now, here's what's bothersome about this. Both the vaccination, because we know what this shit does. We know what that does. But those it, these people who are very, very too far up in their ass with greed. People who would basically go for that, not realizing the harmful effects of what this stuff does. So, I'm afraid I don't have a link to share um, for this. But you guys are probably going to see that ad if you do. Um, try to spread as much awareness about it as you can. Because they're trying to basically bribe people into this. Dude, I can't, I can't believe how effed up this is. But I knew it was going to come down to this. And here's the thing. When it came to these groups like Antifa, they, all these people, they paid off. When it comes to these gang stalkers, all these people, they paid off. When it comes to the BLM, how, how many people do you think they paid off to do a lot of the stuff that they be doing? And a lot of these other people, like, they, you see, the, here's the thing. A lot of things have been twisted up and everything has been labelized because of these labels, because everything is being labeled in a, kind of, in a certain kind of way. Now, I mean, I get it for identification purposes. I get that. But, the, you know, it, it, it's going too far. We got people utilizing race as a, as a means to basically trigger um, conflict and separation between people of different ethnicities. And the thing is, if we, we need to start looking beyond this and start... Throwing, you know, just throwing away these damn labels. Because think of how, who we once were before these labels existed. When we were first born. We didn't know anything about this. Everything was peaceful, right? It's not until all of this stuff started coming up saying, oh, well, this is this, that is that. But it's under, and a lot of the stuff that's going on is understandable. But anyway, the main point is, please, spread awareness about that. Because that... That is really worrisome indeed, because, dude, that ad, it's just like the, uh, I knew, I knew damn well they were going to try this at, at a certain point. They tried having these, uh, these different testing facilities in the cities and stuff. They tried that. And, um, it wasn't just that. It was a numerous amount of them that were fake. That people found out about there were fake ones too, as well as the real ones stealing people's DNA when they have no and this is the thing, they don't know. They don't effing know because they're too damn dense. They were basically being beaten down. They're, they're basically their minds were beaten down into a way to where they only view stuff as in a twenty you know, in a twenty first century type of way. And they don't Comp they can't comprehend the fact that things are a lot more advanced and a lot of this more advanced stuff was just being kept in the dark and they don't know nothing about it. There are a, a, a group of amount of people involved in this stuff that know full well what's going on when it comes to these gang stalkers. But the majority of these people are either just desperate for money or they're just in a desperate situation. And you see, they don't know. They don't know. They don't tell them what's going on. They don't tell them that they're assisting in electrical magnetic torture with these directed energy weapons and stuff like that. And all of this is all streamed together to basically project PTSD or to just enhance this stuff with, the, with all this stuff. And some of these people, like, they don't, it's like they don't freaking question what they're asked to do. And it's like, what the hell is wrong with you? Do you not have any sense of intelligence left in your being at all that's literally how it is but then again think about it really think about it 
they have been spraying the skies for quite some time. People have been breathing this stuff in. I've warned people about the foods that they eat. I'm telling you, if you go to if you go grocery shopping, you best damn well better look at those ingredients so you're not poisoning yourself. Because when you pray for the food that you buy, <clears throat> excuse me, when you pray for the food that you buy, don't you like if and here's the thing, people don't know. That's the problem. They don't know. But here's the thing. It's disrespectful to pray for food that was basically specifically designed to kill you. It may not do it immediately, but it's basically a work in progress. Every time I pray over my food, all, every time I do, this is the exact prayer I, I always say. If this food is not kosher, I apologize for consuming it. If it is kosher, then I'm thankful for it. I'm not going to be thankful for some damn food that was designed to kill me. And in this case, dude, look at the stuff that they've been putting in the milk. Look at this. In, in, look, look at the effects that the milk has been happening on the people. Look at what, uh, you know, high fructose corn syrup. I've avoided that stuff like the plague, man. Not just high fructose corn syrup, but. Um, what else? Um. Not just that soybean oil, since that's 90% uh, GMO. Anything GMO related, I avoid it. Anything that's involved with this artificial stuff, this not, you know, this natural flavor stuff, I avoid all of it because this stuff is designed to basically keep people plugged into the system. We gotta warn these damn people, man, because they don't know what the hell they're getting themselves into. They don't. There are, there are I've already encountered a few people who did get themselves. Uh, t uh, not necessarily, you know, vaccinated, but they did get the test. But you see the test, that swab, that's not, it's a fucking scam. It's a damn scam, man. They want to do to other people what they've been doing to us for years. And people are too damn stupid enough to, see, to, to not, to, to, in order to be able to see it. But don't get me wrong. There are people waking up, but we need to reach out to as many people as possible. It don't have to be much what you can do. Get a hat. Get a shirt. Get something. Have the have the words on there announcing everything on cha either YouTube channels that you can people can basically check out for knowledge. It could be that. It could be expressing why this stuff is a bunch of bull. You know why a lot of this stuff out there that they're trying to push and use the excuse saying it's for your safety. It could be explaining why that's a bunch of bullshit. Something, please. The same. I, I, I've, I've been doing my part, and I intend to do the same as well. But we gotta reach out to as many people as possible, man. We do. I knew damn well they were gonna try this stunt at a certain point in time. I knew it. I freaking knew it, and I was right. But I can't be surprised that they would use a, a tactic like this because it's not like they haven't been using tactics like this before. Now they want to pay people money. And you see, this is what's so effed up, man. The same system that's paying these idiots out there is the same damn system that has been fucking everything up to where it put people in a position of poverty in the first place. So does it ever make sense to work for a damn system that has been screwing you left and right through your, damn near your entire life as well as your damn near your entire family? Screwing stuff up, preventing people from basically, uh, you know, you know, actually uh, making a living, preventing people from even having an independent living, pre preventing people and stripping them of their freedoms and basically just immediately just running over their rights with a damn bulldozer without a care in the world. You know, something about uh, a lady who basically uh, was responsible for creating the, uh, you know, the counterfeiting system that they use to perpetuate the numbers. For this whole cove situation. Did you know that uh, apparently the police rode up to her house and they pointed a gun at her kid and demanded that. And this was good. The reason why they showed up to her house because she exposed what was going on. They were not happy about this. No, they showed up there. And uh, but then again, despite this, she coincidentally had a camera pointed at the door. 
So, you may be wondering why I'm mentioning this. And it's, this isn't the only situation like this that's happened. It isn't. There are some people who naturally do have, well, cameras pointed at their front door. There's some people who have cameras on, pointed on the outside door. But the thing is, please, everybody, do what you can to continue spreading awareness out there of this, of, of, of this plague of corruption that has tarnished the lives of many. I'm going to do whatever I can to. But please do. It don't even have to be much. The fact that you make an effort, the very fact that you would even make an effort is what counts. Remember, God is always watching over all of us. This evil is getting desperate. Think of think you we see how bad this is getting, but think about think about the actual situation as to why it's getting so bad. How greedy these individuals being, the fact that they're trying to roll stuff like this out and trying to roll it out quickly. Fast too. Very fast. Why now? Sure, I mean, they had stuff to where they wanted to roll out and they, they were experimenting on stuff. But here's the thing. They've been doing MK Ultra for, you know, for years. They've done this for years, man. Yeah, way, way, a long ways back. So, they've been spraying the population like crazy. We know this. This happens in the chemtrails. Whenever anybody wants to bring up or talk about the chemtrails, they want to debunk the crap out of that every time with their bullshit lies all the time every time and it's you want to know why they do it because they count on that because that's what's programming the masses you stop that you stop you stop a huge uh control mechanism of this plague you stop a huge control mechanism a lot of these health defects that people have been having because of the chemtrails a lot of these uh symptoms and these negative effects people have been having happening is because of the junk they've been putting out there and my apologies the screen uh does do that from time to time but is you see that's where all of this stuff is coming from is coming from all of this experimental crap that's happening on everybody and it's due to what they're putting out in the air it's due to what they're putting out in the food and the thing is you want some people ask well why why would they ever do that people it's for money they do this for greed and they do this because they are selfish as hell they don't want nobody to have freedom they don't they don't want you to be free they don't want you to be happy they don't they don't want the best for nobody man and though those who of us who are stronger than most they go the extra mile in order to basically set an example for the rest this is why some of us are targeted now it has a lot to do with our bloodlines. It has a lot to do with the past that we are connected to through our lineage. It has a lot to do with that. And it also has to do with the fact of how much part of history they have hidden from us for years. Let me tell you something. These, stereo these situations of race, these situations of all of this stuff is nothing more than a mass distraction. The situation with politics, mass distraction. It's all nothing but a deception made basically put out there for publicity to blind people and keep them focused on something while they're doing something else behind the scenes most targeted individuals have been through enough street theater when you go through enough street theater you start to notice things you at first they get you in that hyper mode to where like you're not used to it and it, no one should ever have to get used to no crap like this, man. No one should ever have to do that. But you see, it keeps you in a hyperventilated mood to where, like, uh, you don't know what's going on and, like, everything is just getting to you. It's not until you actually realize what this all is that you start to calm down and realize that it's just in order to set you up. It's to basically paint a picture of a scenario that they want to paint. The thing is, you don't have to participate. You don't. They try to use methods to force you to participate. Oh, but wait. When they try that, then they then clearly that's they don't want that approach because it's supposed to be you acting out and paying attention to their bullshit. But when you don't pay attention to their bullshit, the whole thing loses its flow of motion. So it can't 
it can't be as effective as it's supposed to be. Like every every bit of street theater, no matter how you look at it, it's meant to grasp your attention. It's meant for you to tune in. I'm I'm basically suggesting for you to tune it out. Because that's what I do. I allow the equipment to capture all of the shit that happens. And if the people, expo- you know, individuals expose themselves, they don't give a f because the police are telling them to do this in the first place. And they get it in their head that, oh, well, I can just get off since they told me to do it anyway. They don't take it in consideration that you might actually get slapped, you know, literally slapped the hell out. You think these, the people who are, you know, in. Like if it's a scenario where you're in a position to defend yourself, then you can do that. But if it's if you better make damn certain you got equipment to protect yourself too, because I'm telling you, they're getting quite desperate. They are, they really are. Um, but you know something, I've learned more than enough in order to how to deal with this kind of thing, and I just let these perpetrators expose themselves. Because we got to remember, they're there to set you up. Not the other way around. You don't go out there looking for it. Neither do I. But they come out here. And they come to us. With their bullshit. So it's simple. It's, you know. Do, can everybody please continue doing what you're doing. Spreading awareness about this whole scam that's going on. And it's like I've said before. And many other people are starting to understand the same thing too. Because they came to the exact same conclusion. The perpetrators behind this whole scam created a problem in order to basically to you know get people to an accept a solution from their from their proposal side from them proposing it this solution they created the now let me basically put this as basic as i can they created a problem because they wanted a solution but they knew people were not going to automatically accept the solution that they would rebel against that solution so in order for the people you know to make sure people accept it is to create a problem a staged problem to confuse people into tricking them that they may actually need this solution when in fact they don't because the problem came from the ones who are basically pushing the solution to them that's your actual virus it isn't what they're with these per, with these people who are pushing the solution are telling you what it is it's those people in general that are the damn disease it's them it's always been them because it's their greed it's their selfishness it's their lack of empathy for others it's their lack of caring and the fact that they don't give a fuck about whether you, your kids, your husband, your wife, whoever the fuck dies, whoever the fuck gets injected with this stuff, what harmful effects. And it's so damn questionable because, if, okay, if this is supposed to be some, if this thing and all this crap they're doing for safety, how come these bastards, and let's go way back because they don't talk about this. They won't bring this up. Let's go way back. What about the time to where, um, you know. They had to complain to Congress because they kept getting sued. They kept getting, you know, the pharmaceutical companies kept getting their asses sued because of their bullshit that they were pushing on the people. And every time it was lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit. So they basically complained to Congress. Congress did something to where they can basically be exempted from this bullshit to where they can't sue them for money anymore. And Well, maybe it's still possible under the right situations, but... In most cases, you can't, you know, you you can't sue them for this anymore. Not for the vaccination. So, if the shit's not working and it's causing harm to people, why the hell are you still suggesting it? It makes no damn sense. And they're saying, oh, you you see, like, you got to be careful of the damn, um, you know, controlled opposition. People who are telling you that they're, um, you know, that, you know, like, they are against the corruption but you know they're not anti-vax, dude. You're a controlled oppos. You either are controlled opposition, or you've been been. You basically are being played like a fiddle. I don't. You know the, these people have been beat, had this stuff beaten down into their heads, making them to believe that this shit is safe for people. They want the concept of experimental stuff being put in people's bodies. And here's the thing, though. I. I don't know how much more proof people need 
any type of and it seems like this it, you, you could actually look at the events of now and put bring this look at it way back then the fact of all of it you know the shit about the killer bees did you know a sign you know killer bees was actually made by a damn scientist did you know that the you know basically these because of a scientist effing around with this stuff that they got in the public yeah yeah so if so it, 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 here's the thing like why can't we just i'm just curious how come we cannot just have one month no chemtrails not a single one not anywhere so what's their excuse for having these around what's their real excuse because coincidentally enough i could create a channel talking all about this not saying anything, just saying, you know, just telling the people on my channel saying, hey, check this out. Look, 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 look at this, right? Just, just look at that. And as soon as, you know, as soon as the video starts gets getting grounding, right? As soon as a lot, enough people start noticing it, saying this actually maybe worth looking into. All of a sudden, they got these experts coming out of nowhere. Coming out of the woodwork talking about, no, no, no. Like, here's, like, listen to this this it's fine these are not chemtrails they're contrails they people those assholes are covering this shit up because they're paid to do it they're paid to lie to you they're paid to do this stuff so you will keep being poisoned keep being programmed and will never wake up I'm hoping people will, enough people will wake the hell up because this is a threat not just to us but the next damn generation they already are killing off the elderly now. This is not a future we need for the next generation. And this is, I'm actually damn proud I didn't have any kids, man. I'm I, I'm proud I didn't bring any in this world. But you know something? This world has a lot of evil in it. But there's a lot of good that exists here too. That's how I look at it. It's not the world itself that's evil. It's the evil that others do onto the world for their own selfish ambitions. It's what others do to basically bring rottenness into this world. But it doesn't, you know, there were times of peace and it could still be like that. There can still be times of peace. But we have to fight for it. We do. We truly do. I don't want anyone who's a target to basically act out irrationally in any way. Don't. This is normally how I basically do my reconnaissance. Um, I don't worry about who's a perp. I don't basically make any judgment calls at all. I don't do that. I let them basically expose themselves. Even if they make it, they can make stuff super obvious. I let the camera do the work. I do not use a phone for recording reasons because last time I caught some really important footage of them installing weaponized equipment onto a city bus. I filmed the bus driver doing it and he looked right at my eyes as he was doing it. And he didn't seem worried at all. He didn't. But um I think and naturally I did not get on that bus. And they desperately want me on a bus with, that was equipped with this crap. So they basically pretty much had the whatever the bus line run a little bit late just so they can do whatever they were going to do. And then I had no choice but, you know, to jump on that one in, in order to get back to where I was going to. Either that or I took the long route or whatever. Um, I, It was so long ago when that happened. But when it comes to these situations, I just let these people expose themselves. I call out. The, I only got to call, you know, do one reconnaissance to where I just call the tactics that they use, the colors that they use and all this stuff. But get this, despite the fact that they labelize this stuff, they all want you to just late, you know, accept their meanings for what they do these things for. I don't. I immediately change the meaning of everything that they do. It is still a form of harassment, but I change the meaning of of what these these uh, tactics that they use and these colors that they use because I'm not going to label something in a negative manner in order to just have that constantly perpetuating to attack myself to create PTSD. That's like, despite the fact that they're still doing it, 
by me can you know accepting their label for it that's like self me self sabotaging myself and i'm not doing that no so when it comes right down to this stuff don't act out let them expose themselves always keep an audio recorder on you have a reconnaissance equipment that is not connected to the network like a cell phone. If you want to, you know, look, the best cell phone you can possibly have, it cannot be connected to Google. It cannot be connected to Facebook. It cannot be just a normal standardized phone. It has to be, uh, you know, basically um, formatted in a way to where you not it doesn't give these, uh, you know, these factory built in back doors to these tech companies that are allowing them to just ease on in into your uh, your network environment to do this this is the other reason why i mentioned that us you know as target uh, 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 all of us really should come together try to get as much people together as possible if it's possible for people to um for us to try to build up some funding at all the best place for that funding to do it to go to would be our own internet service uh uh our own internet service independently because we can't depend on these other big tech companies because they're the ones allowing these weaponized systems in these networks to attack you. But what happens if you have an Internet service provider that doesn't allow this? No attacks, no entry into your network because they're not opening up the back doors. The only way they would be able to get in is to hack it. And that allows you to have groundwork for uh, situations. Now, when it comes to going to court, in court cases, look, there are some cases that will let you win, but it depends on the nature of the case itself. If you're bringing up any, I'm, I'm telling and I hate to say this, but it's the truth. Anything dealing with, with directed energy weapons, anything like that, they are not going to let nobody win that case. They will not let that happen. And I'm telling you why. The reason why is because if one person wins a case like that, if it goes to court and it's heard and all that stuff and it, you know, everything is proven. Do you know how many people will be able to do the same because of their situations and all the evidence they've gathered? Yeah, that's why they won't allow that to happen. We cannot trust in the courts because these goons who are all bent and work and work, you know, basically who just swore an oath to the system are in these positions of power. Change will only come from the people, not the government. There may be people in the government who may have good intentions, but people, the biggest enemy is fear. Not a gang stalker, not a, not a Masonic Mason, not a, not a demon, fear. Fear is your greatest enemy because it's that same fear that could basically put you in a position to not even act. So I give you these words of encouragement. Do not allow fear to consume you. You must conquer that fear. You need to face it head on. You are far stronger than you know. You are damn well far stronger than you know. But you got to be smart about it. Be smart about knowing how to utilize your strengths at the right time. Be, be smart about when to speak at the right time and when to act at the right time. When you able, when you can do that, basically, these, you, you're, you're capable of basically pissing off these perpetrators a lot. They're going to continue sending them towards you. That much is for certain. But it puts you in a more situation to where their setups don't work and they grow impatient with their effort. Because they just want to just say, fuck it, you know, like, fuck you. I want to set you up so I can get paid and move on with my life. No, that's not how stuff is going to play out. I don't give a fuck who the hell hired you. I don't care who put you up to what you're doing. I'm going to do my damn best to help as many people out there. And I'm going to find out some kind of way to make shielding. That can block this stuff. I don't know when. I don't know how. But I'm fully confident I have the capabilities of doing it. When this will happen. Who can say. So much has been going on that. Uh, it's, 
it's getting to a point where I don't even think even going in the city anymore is going to be safe. Hence the whole reason why I got out of it. Anyway, I send both my love and my prayers out to all of you. Stay safe. Stay strong.